Hi there, welcome to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna be going through the difference between mealworms and black soldier fly larvae. Both are great treats, but there's more to it. Before I get into that, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also be sure to subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you'll receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. So mealworms have been the go-to protein treat for chickens, but the black soldier fly larva is becoming more and more popular popular for many good reasons. Now let's see how they both stack up in comparison and which is best for you and your flock. The term mealworm is really a misnomer. These little bits of wiggly beings are not really worms. They're actually the larva of a beetle called the darkling beetle. They are the second of four stages of life and exist to eat and grow until they have enough energy to transform next into pupa and then into beetles. So these stages of a mealworm. Mealworms can be found almost anywhere. They can find a warm, dark, and damp place such as under decaying logs and leaves. They spend their time burrowing and eating while they would prefer a diet of grains. They will also consume vegetation, spoiled food, and many other types of fresh or decaying organic matter. In fact, in the time of making this video, if you are interested in any kind of time lapse, I used to watch like time lapses of like food going bad or time lapses of like watching plants grow because there ain't no way I'm gonna sit there and watch a plant grow. But mealworm, there's some really popular YouTube channels that have a bunch of mealworms and they put food in the this glass container with like thousands of mealworms. And the time lapse is just pretty interesting because they just like consume whatever you throw in there. So it's like, it's pretty cool, but it's also kind of creepy because they like literally will eat anything and they will just like, you'll just watch it just like disintegrate. Is at least that's what it looks like in the time lapse. Anyways, it's cool, check it out. Okay, so a darkling beetle undergoes complete metamorphosis. This means that it has several different and distinct stages of life. The four stages are an egg and then the larva, that's what the mealworm is. And then the pupa, and then adult. The amount of time a darkling beetle spends in each stage can vary somewhat depending on the environment they are in. As noted before, depending on their environment, completing a life cycle can vary, but the four stages can take a span of 19 to 31 weeks. We start off, not surprisingly, with the female darkling beetle laying plenty of eggs. Somewhere around 500 eggs are deposited into the ground after fertilization. So this is where the first stage of life is spent. The white bean shaped egg is tiny, Actually, it's about the size of a speck of dust. It'll take around one to four weeks for an egg to hatch and the larva to emerge. Once that happens, the second stage of life, the stage whereby hungry consumers such as hens find very important lasts about eight to 10 weeks and is spent as a brown larva. This is the stage where the insect is a mealworm. During this stage, the mealworm keeps crawling and growing as it eats vigorously on any vegetation or dead insects. The worm will need to molt or shed its hard outer shell in order to grow. Molts will occur in 10 to 20 times during this stage of life. The fully grown larvae are golden brown, approximately a bit over an inch, along with about 200 worms to one ounce of weight, just to give you an idea how much each one weighs. They spend its time eating and growing as you know, to get ready for the next transformation, the pupa. The pupal stage is an inactive stage. Depending on the temperature of its surroundings, it can last for weeks to a couple of months. The stage will be shorter if the environment temperature is warmer. Pupa doesn't eat anything during the stage. It looks like it's just like a bug. It just turns into like a white bug and it just doesn't move at all. And then lastly, adult. Out of the pupa, adult beetles emerge and start their process over again. So can mealworms benefit your flock? Just a handful of mealworms. Averaging around one to 10 per chicken is enough to help boost their protein intake and help your hens lay more consistently and stay more healthy during times such as molting in winter when more protein is needed. Dried mealworms are approximately 50% protein, 28% fat, and about 6% fiber. If my chicken's voraciousness is any indication, they apparently taste incredibly delicious. Most mealworms do come from China, a point that must be taken into account when compared to other forms of larval supplement such as black soldier flies, which are produced mainly in North America. And if you're interested in growing your own mealworms, we have a video that I can link to in the description. All right, black soldier flies. What are black soldier flies? If you wanna be specific, they're technically termed Hermatia lucens. They are most commonly found throughout the Western hemisphere and also in regions of Australia. As adults, the black soldier fly does not possess a stinger, does not bite, or even has mouth parts, although they are able to drink water. It actually seems the adult black soldier fly larva exists mainly to mate and lay eggs. Now let's talk about the life cycle. So a black soldier fly mates while in flight and females deposit approximately 500 eggs, about the 
same as a mealworm. The eggs take about four days to hatch, which is a lot sooner than mealworms. And then the larva will take roughly two weeks before they're ready to turn into pupa, then a few more weeks to become adults. The egg larva pupil adult cycle of the black soldier fly larva is quite smaller, as you can kind of tell. As larva, they eat, and boy do they eat. And like mealworms, they are environmentally sensitive enough to vary the time between stages. Two weeks is the average time spent as larva. When black soldier fly larva are ready to transition to pupa, they will find a dry sheltered area to bury themselves in and approximately two weeks will emerge as adult black soldier flies. The black soldier fly larval stage is what many researchers and farmers have an interest in due to their ability to digest large amounts of waste. Black soldier fly larvae are capable of transforming a large variety of organic materials from food waste to manure into much smaller biomass. There are many videos made available on YouTube or Google which show huge amounts of food and waste like a pizza or oranges or manure, but literally demolished by an army of black soldier fly larvae. I was already talking about this, about mealworms. It's just kind of the same thing. Black soldier fly videos are worth a watch in my opinion. They can, uh, but to add to the allure, they can also be grown and harvested without dedicated facilities and are not human pests. On the fast track to sustainability, the black soldier fly industry is starting to emerge as an essential component of various animal food ingredients. The Entera company based in Langley, British Columbia is centered around using black soldier fly larva because it's a marketable, sustainable form of protein. To raise black soldier flies, Entera uses pre-consumer waste food that would otherwise be sent to landfills. For example, in a restaurant setting, this would be the type of food waste and discarded by staff within the kitchen before it gets to patrons. This includes all waste in the kitchen, including overproduction, expiration, spoilage, overcooked items, contaminated items, and dropped items. When collected and used for black soldier fly larva, this organic matter, which would once be considered waste and thrown away, is the starting point for black soldier fly larva. When they eat the waste, they excrete the waste into a much smaller organic matter, and they grow themselves into a much larger size, about three quarters of an inch on average. The larvae are then harvested, and the result is a protein-rich calcium-fortified ingredient that chickens absolutely love. A win-win that turns food waste into nutrient-rich animal feed, increases nutrition, and decreases waste. So these dried larvae are approximately 40% crude protein because chicken feathers are about 90% protein. Increasing your chicken's protein during molting will help Help them during the time they are regrowing their feathers during laying time black soldier fly larvae can provide a boost of calcium which helps build strong eggshells in general when comparing the nutritional composition of any larva it is very important to note that the exact percentage of nutrients will vary the substrate food upon which the larva eat for example the percentage of protein in black soldier fly larva that fed on animal and manure is a full four to five percent higher than say black soldier fly larva that fed on waste food from vegan restaurants. All right, so this can be a little opportunity for you to screenshot or take a picture of this part in the video. I'm gonna show a table that shows the nutritional breakdown of uh, mealworms and black soldier fly larva. But if you really just kind of the person that just wants to know, you don't really care to know how the clock works. You just wanna know what time it is. Black soldier fly larva, although maybe slightly lower in protein, they make up for, you know, the other minerals and like fat and phosphorus and fiber and calcium which is important for your chickens. So anyways, moving on, because the calcium content with respect to phosphorus in the dried mealworms is so low, companies that sell mealworms as poultry or reptile food might dust them with calcium before bagging and selling. By contrast, dried black soldier fly larva, like I said, is more balanced and it's also rich in protein and fat. So chickens fed a diet containing dried black soldier fly larva as a protein supplement have been shown to gain weight at a rate of almost double those fed on soybean plus fat meal. Because of the protein and fat content of the black soldier fly larva and the fact that black soldier fly larva is the only larva worm grub to even come near the ideal calcium phosphorus ratio, its value to the backyard chicken as well as the industrial chicken can be extraordinary. Good strong eggshells and proper endocrine function depend on calcium content and its relationship with the phosphorus in food and these larvae certainly deliver. As we move through here, let's consider the effects on the environment. Here are some possible to points to consider when choosing what type of larva to purchase for your flock. It's been shown that large amounts of organic waste exposed to relatively large populations of black soldier fly larvae can be converted and quickly into valuable compost. For 
For instance, by dining on it, these larvae can reduce the amount of poultry or pig waste by almost 50%. Household food waste can also be shown to decline by 65 to 70%. If you're very interested, I've already talked about the videos. Uh, you can also watch a video of a black soldier fly larva calm colony eliminating a whole pizza in the record of two hours. These findings are pretty huge, especially when you fi figure out that waste equals odor and elimination of a chunk of waste eliminates quickly the odor that emanates from it. So black soldier flies also help reduce house flies. They are a competitor to the com common house fly maggots because they make waste more liquid and therefore less suitable for house fly maggots to grow. For instance, they've been shown to reduce the house fly population of pig or poultry manure by 94 to 100 percent anyone who owns a farm will tell you that fewer house flies or filth flies make the black soldier fly larva worth their weight in gold all in all i have found that my chickens consider both mealworms and black soldier fly larva the best chicken treats i can give them i have ordered black soldier fly larva from amazon and given nutritional research on two types of treats i think i will continue to serve my hens the black soldier fly larva over the mealworms as the calcium component alone pushes me towards choosing that product that's going to do it for us here at the happy chicken coop thanks for joining us if you find our content interesting if you learn something new please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the youtube channel with that, I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.